afternoon dear students we are going to study today bio assay of penicillin now first let us understand what is penicillin it is an antibiotic rather it is the world's first antibiotic that was discovered by sir alexander fleming in the year 1928 this antibiotic is produced by a fungi known as penicillium notatum it is a mold okay and Fleming, Alexander Fleming noted that he accidentally had left a plate of Staphylococcus aureus in his laboratory and when he returned back after a few days, he found that there was a mold colony that was grown on the plate and it had inhibited the growth of Staphylococcus around, uh, uh, aureus surrounding it. Okay, that means the mold colony was surrounded by a zone of inhibition of Staphylococcus aureus. Right? So, this is how the antibiotic penicillin that was produced by Penicillium notatum was discovered. Now, this uh, penicillin belongs to the class of beta-lactam antibiotics containing beta-lactam ring and having a side chain R in its amino acyl group. Okay. Now, the basic molecule is 6-amino penicillinic acid and there is a side chain that is R. Okay, this R group in the side chain is replaced by various group giving rise to different semi-synthetic penicillin. When the R group is replaced by <coughs> CH2 along with an aromatic ring, it is penicillin G, then penicillin V, ampicillin, amoxicillin, methicillin are different classes of penicillin. So, rather you can say they are semi-synthetic penicillin in which the basic nucleus is same 6-amino penicillinic acid but the R chain is different, the side chain is different. Now, let us discuss about how to perform bioassay of penicillin. Okay. So, as I said, penicillin is an antibiotic produced by fungi which is active against gram-positive organisms and bioassay of antibiotic is done in the laboratory by determining the inhibitory action of the antibiotic against the sensitive organism. The test organism that is used, say for example, Staphylococcus aureus or Bacillus subtilis should be sensitive to the drug and should show a growth response in proportion to the concentration of the antibiotic. That means as the concentration of antibiotic goes on increasing, the growth should be inhibited. Okay. Now, the assay, the bioassay of antibiotic can be done either by agar cup plate method or by even by turbidimetric method, even by disc diffusion method where we use anti, disc and impregnated with the antibiotics. In the agar plate cup method, the growth response is measured by the zone of inhibition. We measure the diameter of zone of inhibition of the test culture in response to different uh, concentration of the antibiotic penicillin. Now, if you look at the cylindrical cup plate method, it depends upon the diffusion of antibiotic from the wells or vertical cylinder into solidified agar layer such that the growth of the added microorganism is prevented entirely. The growth of microorganism is inhibited and the cylinder or the well is containing the antibiotic is surrounded by a zone of inhibition. Now, in turbidimetric method, we take nutrient medium along with the antibiotic variable concentration of antibiotic in test tubes. And nutrient medium is inoculated with the test organism and we check the growth of the organism. Okay. Now, what is the principle of the bioassay method? The bioassay of an antibiotic is based upon a comparison of inhibition of growth of microbes, comparison of inhibition of growth of microbes by measured concentration of antibiotic under examination with that produced by known concentration of standard preparation of the antibiotic okay so we compare the known concentration of standard antibiotics with that under testing whose potency is to be determined in agar cup plate method or in disc diffusion method, antibiotics diffuse into the medium and produce a clear zone of inhibition surrounding the antibiotic. As the concentration of antibiotic increases, the diameter of zone of inhibition also increases. Okay. Now, what are the different requirements for performing the bioassay of antibiotic? Number one, culture media. 
okay number 2 the buffer solution in which standard concentration of antibiotic penicillin is done or we can use ringer solution also the standard antibiotic penicillin g test organism staphylococcus aureus or even we can use bacillus subtilis then cylindrical cups or borer pipette test tubes petri dishes etc okay now the next the what is the culture media that is used for assay of antibiotic you have to dissolve all the ingredients in 1 liter of distilled water and uh, control the ph or maintain the ph by adding one molar solution of either hcl or naoh after sterilization okay so what is the composition of antibiotic assay medium it contains 6 g peptone pancreatic digest of casein 4 g yeast extract uh, 3 gram beef extract 1.5 gram dextrose 1 gram agar agar in the medium maybe 20 to 25 gram and all these ingredients are added in 1 liter of distilled water the ph is controlled by adding either hcl or naoh after sterilization ph is maintained in the range of 6.6 .6. okay now the buffer solution that we use uh, may be having a ph of 6 the ph may vary depending upon the ph you have to use different buffer solutions okay if you are using a buffer of 6 a ph then you have to add 2 grams of potassium hydrogen phosphate and 8 grams of potassium dihydrogen phosphate in 1 liter distilled water and you can um, adjust the ph by using either phosphoric acid 8 molar or by using 10 molar potassium hydroxide now if you want to use ringer solution the composition is distilled water we have to take 1 liter in 1 liter we have to dissolve 9 gram of nacl 0.42 grams of kcl 0.48 gram of potassium dihydrogen phosphate and 0.2 gram of sodium bicarbonate okay and prepare the ringer solution now then the next thing you, you need to do is inoculate the test organism into the growth medium and allow the organism to grow so that you have a broth culture of the test organism ready with you and then you have to dilute the broth culture say in the proportion of 1 is to 20 or you can use 0.5 macfarlane standard now how to prepare standard penicillin solution okay now penicillin is available in the market in with different potency say for example here we are using penicillin having 5 lakh units of penicillin in the vial okay so the one vial if it is having 5 lakh units for, sorry we are using a penicillin vial having 5 lakh units of penicillin now this whole vial is dissolved in 100 ml of ringer solution this gives a dilution of 500 uh, sorry 5000 units per ml now take 1 ml of 5000 units per ml and dissolve in 100 ml ringer solution so that you get a dilution of 50 units per ml this dilution or this concentration of penicillin that is 50 units per ml is used to prepare the stock solution okay take 1 ml of 50 units per ml of the uh, uh, penicillin and dilute it 5 times with ringer solution so that you get a dilution of penicillin as 10 units per ml this is the stock solution from this stock solution on the day of use you can prepare various dilutions like 9 units per ml 8 units per ml 7 units per ml and so on you can also prepare two unknown concentration okay now the procedure for cylindrical cup plate method now i, I will just show you in diagrammatic manner what you have to do is this is a plate you have to pour sterile assay medium okay what you will do you will pour sterile assay media how much 10 ml into the plate so pour 10 ml sterile liquefied assay medium into the plate and allow the medium to solidify this is called as base agar layer okay now after this you take 10 ml medium in a test tube okay you take 10 ml medium in a test tube to this 10 ml you add 0 0.1 ml of culture what will you will you add first of all you will take 10 ml of medium sterile medium in a test tube sterile test tube add 0 0.1 ml of broth culture now this inoculated medium this inoculated broth culture is poured over the surface of base agar it is poured over the surface of base agar so that uh, say you get 3 to 4 mm layer 
okay both layers should be uniform in thickness this procedure can also be performed in rectangular tray we can also perform it in a rectangular tray so now you have a plate containing medium which is inoculated this medium is inoculated it contains the growth of organism so this is called as seeded medium this is called as seeded medium now prepare a different concentration of antibiotic penicillin as explained earlier now you have to dig cylindrical cups into the agar okay you have to place cylindrical cups into the agar or what else can you do you can with the help of a borer sterile borer you have to dig out wells in the medium okay you have to dig out wells in the medium that means you insert the borer and remove the agar so that a hole is created in the agar in each of the hole you will place different concentration of antibiotic in each so you dig out holes on uh, or so called as wells in the agar place variable concentration of antibiotic in each well say for example the first well contains 1 unit of antibiotic penicillin second well will contain 2 unit of antibiotic penicillin the third will contain 3 the fourth will contain 4 units the fifth will contain 5 units and this is the one which contain unknown concentration of antibiotic you don't know what is the concentration of antibiotic in that that is say unknown a okay so you have to add equal volume of uh, various concentration of antibiotic penicillin into different well and unknown uh, sample is also added in the wells we can use uh, mean two or more plates or for carrying out this or we can use a rectangular plate also now after that always take care that you to pour equal volume of the antibiotic then if you are using a well well method then you have to fill the well completely with the antibiotic solution now incubate the plate sorry keep the plate at room temperature for say a period of 1 to 2 hours do not disturb it or you can keep it in refrigerator for 20 minutes and then incubate the plate okay what after incubation check for the zone of inhibition surrounding each antibiotic now whatever microorganisms were present whatever microorganisms were loaded on the medium will grow but the antibiotic that is present in the well diffuses into the medium and the well is surrounded by clear zone of growth inhibition okay the antibiotic is surrounded by wells are surrounded by clear zone of inhibition what is this this is zone of inhibition where the growth of test organism is inhibited and in the rest of the place you can see that the test organism has grown okay now you have to measure the zone of inhibition in each for each concentration go on measuring the zone of inhibition then then plot a graph then what you have to do you have to plot a graph okay so plot a graph such that the diameter of zone of inhibition is on the y axis and the concentration of antibiotic is on x axis okay so plot a graph of diameter of zone of inhibition against concentration of antibiotic as the concentration of antibiotic goes on increasing the diameter of zone of inhibition goes on decreasing okay and then you can find out okay so for example as the concentration of uh, antibiotic goes on increasing the diameter of zone of inhibition goes on increasing that means the organisms are killed more and more okay so the with the increase in concentration the more or more growth is inhibited and the diameter of zone of inhibition goes on increasing okay now you have an unknown sample whose concentration is not known but the diameter of zone of inhibition is known okay using the graph you can find out the concentration of unknown or you can find out the potency of the unknown sample that is how you perform the bioassay of penicillin by agar cup plate method okay so this is the uh, this slide is showing the borer with the help of which the wells are dug borer okay wells are dug into the right then uh, incubate 
right? Measure the diameter of zone of inhibition. Incubate the plate uh, at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Measure the diameter of zone of inhibition. Plot a graph of diameter of zone of inhibition versus concentration of antibiotic. And from the standard graph, the potency of unknown sample of penicillin can be determined. Okay, so the cylindrical cup method. Pour 10 ml of sterile and liquefied assay medium into the sterile petri plate as base agar. Allow it to solidify. 10 ml of sterile liquefied assay medium is taken in a test tube. At 0.1 ml of broth culture of SREs. Pour it over the base agar. Allow the medium to solidify. Pre uh, prepare various solution. Uh, various uh, solution of various concentration of antibiotic penicillin. Okay. Then. Apply the solution on the surface of the solid medium. Pour it in the sterile cylinders or in the cavities or the wells that are prepared in the agar. Okay. Then uh, the volume of a solution of the antibiotic in each cylinder or cavity must be uniform. Fill the holes completely. Leave the petri dishes standing for 1 to 4 hours at room temperature or in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. Then incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After incubation, zone of inhibition will be formed surrounding each well. Measure the diameter of the zone of inhibition. Okay. Plot a graph of zone of inhibition, uh, diameter of zone of inhibition versus concentration of antibiotic. And from the standard graph, the potency of the unknown sample of penicillin can be determined. Okay. And now this is the I can say table which is showing how to prepare various uh, concentration of penicillin. 1 unit per ml, 2 unit per ml and so and so. And then also add unknown solution into the unknown wells. Okay. And measure the diameter of zone of inhibition and by plotting a graph find out what is the potency of the uh, penicillin in unknown sample. Right. This is how you get, you have to prepare the lawn culture of the medium, dig out wells, the different color is showing different concentration of antibiotics and then check for the zone of inhibition. The white color is the zone of inhibition where growth of organism is inhibited. Now the other method is turbidometric method. In case of turbidometric method, you require a very short period of time within 3 to 4 hours you get the results. Here you have to take Two set of five test tube. In the first set, you will add different concentration of standard solution from the stock. And in the second set, set you can take different concentration of sample. Okay. So, you have to place 1 ml of each concentration into the test tube. Uh, and to the test tube, you will add 9 ml of nutrient medium which is previously inoculated with the test organism. Then you will use three controls here. One control is the one which is called as culture control where the medium is inoculated with the culture medium. In the second tube, again the medium is inoculated with the culture but we add 0.5 ml of dilute formaldehyde to stop the growth which is called as blank and the third tube is uninoculated. Now all tubes are incubated in a water bath or incubator at 37 degrees Celsius for 3 to 4 hours. After incubation in each tube you will add 0.5 ml of dilute formaldehyde to stop the growth. Then measure the growth of organism in each of the test tube which is which happens in the form of turbidity by measuring the absorbance at 530 nanometer. Okay against the blank. And then graphically you can find out what is the concentration of antibiotic present in the unknown sample. Okay. So two set of five tubes. In the first set all standard antibiotic of known concentration. In the second set sample antibiotics whose concentration may be needed to found, find out. Okay. Then you have to add 1 ml of various concentration of antibiotic. Then 9 ml of medium containing uh, you know, 9 ml of seeded medium which is already inoculated and 3 controls and then you can perform bioassay of penicillin. Okay, so that is all about bioassay of penicillin.